So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the UK actually blocking Activision Blizzard. So, there's been several videos you know, on YouTube talking about it. I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. Uh, the gist of it is, you know, Microsoft is going to be anti-competitive and, and destroy Sony if they acquire Activision Blizzard by making Call of Duty exclusive to their platform. And Microsoft came out and said, uh, no, we're not going to do that, and one game should not affect Sony. Sony is already has a very, very competitive advantage. They are already beating us in user base. Uh, they, we are not going to beat Sony if we acquire, if the scenario that we make Call of Duty exclusive to Xbox. But they said they're not going to do that. Uh, so the UK, you know, I, like, in order for... Activision Blizzard to get approval for the acquisition, they need approval from the entire world basically because Activision Blizzard is a global company, they sell their games everywhere and in order, you know, so Microsoft needs approval basically everywhere before they can acquire the company. Probably China too included because Disney you know, it took a whole year to acquire, get acquired by Fox. I mean, Disney to acquire Fox took a whole year. <clears throat> so, we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, there's always a possibility that, you know, regulations could come in and block the Activision Blizzard deal and cause the stock to tank. I mean, there's in this world, everything has risk and reward. So, we'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, see a, a bunch of videos I watched. I didn't watch all of them. I watched maybe two of them. Kind of get the chiz of it. Uh, Activision Blizzard down a little bit today. Down a little bit more. I did. Did I buy any today? No, I was thinking of buying some this morning, but uh, good thing I waited because it's gone down even more. Like I, this is just my opinion. The lower. And lower you can buy Activision Blizzard, the safer and safer it becomes. Because at the end of the day, uh, the stock will ultimately, like, personally, I feel like if you can get this thing at, like, below $70, like $68, uh, even, like, $57, that is a good deal down there. Good, good deal. Because, you know, the, the return on investment at like fifty eight dollars is like you know a lot more like <clears throat> a lot higher it's like almost fifty percent right fifty percent if the the deal goes through uh I don't know how low it will go. the deal will come like according to some videos the the like we won't hear anything from the u k until early January or somewhere in January so We'll see what happens. Uh, this deal could take a little bit longer than I think. It could be like near the end of 2023. But uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Just uh, kind of making a quick video about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.